The story of Los Alamos and the Manhattan Project began in 1939, when atomic energy was still in its infancy and the subject of intense scientific scrutiny. Scientists like Albert Einstein and Enrico Fermi feared that Nazi Germany might develop an atomic bomb, so they approached President Roosevelt with a warning. This letter sparked the creation of the Manhattan Project, a secret research program to develop the atomic bomb before the Germans did. The Manhattan Project attracted top scientists from around the world, including Robert Oppenheimer, who became the project's scientific director, and Niels Bohr, who contributed his theories on atomic structure. The project grew and began operating in several locations in the U.S., but the main center became Los Alamos, a remote location in New Mexico, ideal for clandestine research. In 1943, Construction of scientific laboratories and living quarters for scientists and their families began at Los Alamos. All under the strict supervision of military guards. Thus began a unique project that not only changed the history of the world, but also influenced the design and architecture of Los Alamos. Los Alamos, now known as the City of Science, is located in New Mexico, on the border between the mountain forests and the desert landscape. But at the time it was chosen as the center of the Manhattan Project, Los Alamos was just a quiet place with a small school for boys. So why was this place chosen? Los Alamos offered several key advantages. It was isolated, difficult to access, and therefore ideal for clandestine research. Because of its isolation, the town could be easily controlled and secured. In addition, the high altitude and dry climate were ideal for the research that was to take place here. Thus began the extensive construction that transformed the small place into a densely populated and highly technological center. The design and architecture of the buildings at Los Alamos have been carefully considered. Although the buildings had to rise quickly, their functionality and safety were never neglected. The laboratories were designed to be large enough for all the research needed. They were all equipped with the most advanced technology of the time. In addition to the laboratories, there were also living quarters for scientists and their families. They were simple but functional houses that tried to create at least some sense of home. Although these houses may seem outdated today, at the time of their construction they were very modern and adapted to the needs of their inhabitants. Safety was paramount at Los Alamos. The buildings were designed to minimize the risk of espionage and leaks. The office buildings were the centerpiece of the entire complex and were carefully designed to maintain the secrecy of the Manhattan Project. But it wasn't just the labs and office buildings. The Manhattan Project was aware that scientists needed to relax as well, so recreational areas, movie theaters, and even schools for scientists' children were built. Today, many of these buildings still stand and are listed. They are witnesses to a time when architecture and design merged with cutting-edge science and technology. The Manhattan Project ended World War II and ushered in a new era in technology and science. Los Alamos played a key role in this process. After the Manhattan Project ended, Los Alamos underwent a transformation. Laboratories and office buildings were converted to civilian use and the city gradually opened to the public. Architecture and design also gradually changed. Some buildings were renovated, others replaced with modern structures, but many of the original buildings remain as relics of this important era. Los Alamos National Laboratory, as we know it today, is still one of the leading research centers in the world. It focuses on a wide range of scientific fields, from nuclear research to biology and cosmology. Los Alamos today is also a place of memory and remembrance. The city has several museums and monuments dedicated to the Manhattan Project and those who participated in it. The Manhattan Project was one of the most significant moments in the 20th century that defined our relationship to technology, science and power. Los Alamos, as the center of this project, is living proof of this history. Since its inception, Los Alamos has been transformed from a secret military base into a modern scientific center. Its architecture and design reflect this transformation and recall the importance of this place to our history. 
Los Alamos and the Manhattan Project are not only part of our past, but also part of our present and future. They influence our understanding of science, technology, and society and enrich our understanding of the history of architecture and design. Thank you for joining our tour of Los Alamos and the Manhattan Project today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and watch our other architecture and design videos. Check out our other videos and join our community of architecture lovers. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.